hello everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to see how to represent this beautiful landscape in plan and in an elevational view uh, and also using scale in procreate so i am going to show you in step by step process being the first step you need to download all your materials required for this presentation so here you can see i have already downloaded loaded a set of materials so i have just reduced the speed so you can see or observe what kind of materials that i have already downloaded so there's this stone uh, kind of a texture water and lawn green lawn texture and also vector images of trees be it in plan or in elevation and also vector images of humans in plan in elevation and also a set of birds flying on the sky so all these are like the details that we will be using in our uh, representation so this video is going to be slightly long but i have fast forwarded a lot of things so make sure to adjust the speed in your settings if you want to follow along with me so without further ado let's get into this video so step two is to set up the drawing guide to scale so firstly i'm going to show you what is my canvas size so here you can see that my canvas size is 297 by 420 so that is basically an a3 canvas and now let's go to the drawing guide option switch on your drawing guide edit drawing guide and here switch on to the grid size centimeters and select one that means one grid is equal to one centimeter and if you type 0.5 that becomes one grid is equal to 0.5 centimeter simple so why we are selecting it in centimeters and setting up to one centimeter is because this is going to be a uh, one is to hundred scale in a3 so if i have to demonstrate in detail that means one grid we have to consider it as thousand mm or one meter and in uh, vertical it's also going to be the same so again if we consider two grids that becomes two thousand mm or two meter So the same uh, logic goes for 4 meters and 3.5 grid becomes 3.5 meter or 3500 mm. So in AutoCAD and yeah so basically in AutoCAD it is also the same kind of logic so if we set up an A3 sheet we set one uh, 1 is to 100 units when we are plotting a sheet so we are using the same logic here in procreate as well so it's basically more manual so you will get your plan in scale so you print out an a3 sheet then your plan uh, and section will be in scale so here you can reduce the opacity or increase the opacity it's according to how you feel convenient to draw your stuff on uh, this canvas so in a new layer let's start drawing the initial guide so this is going to be the skeletal or the basic guide for our main sketch so in a new layer just make sure to switch on your drawing guide option and here i'm just trying to count the number of uh, uh, grids and also in my mind i am actually uh, planning out this landscape plan and also uh, a lot of it is inspired some of the images that i have downloaded in pinterest some of the landscape images so you also can keep a reference and you can take it as a challenge and create a design of your own and also apply the same techniques that i'm showing you in this video So right now it is like a trial and error kind of a thing so I am just erasing and redrawing stuff to see what works the best for my design and here again I've counted each of the section and I'm drawing accordingly so here I'm drawing the stairs
and here I'm drawing this diagonal kind of a thing which would become a diagonal bond in between these uh, flight of stairs and here I'm just marking everything all the dimension in red I have also downloaded a PNG image of a scale and I've imported it inside this uh, canvas I've reduced the sizes to according to one grid and I'm just comparing to see if the dimensions are accurate so you can also do the same if you are doubting or if you're not sure so you can just download a PNG ruler and just simply start to refer to it and now I'm starting to draw the section so this red line indicates the base of my section line and here the levels are uh, varying so accordingly and keeping the grid sizes in mind I'm just drawing this step up and step down kind of a scenario right here so this is basically how we draw it on paper as well right so we draw a plan and then using a ruler we extend it to a section or an elevation so basically we are doing the same here as well but this makes it even more easy for us since we are using this uh, grid and drawing assist option so it becomes very easy again here i am trying to compare the step height using this ruler so I'm just showing you that you can also compare it using a ruler if you're not sure about the heights and all that since it is like a 1 is 200 scale it's very easy for us to use this ruler um, downloaded online so yeah I've extended all the lines basically and the next step is to draw the actual outline or the main sketch so I've already reduced the opacity of this guide and in a new layer with the drawing guide assist on we are going to draw the main sketch so I'm basically using the technical pen so since you have the drawing guide assist on your hand automatically moves according to uh, the grids so yeah you don't have to worry about your lines going crooked finishing off the section as well Here I'm just drawing the base of the water body. And your next important step is to set up your one point perspective guide. So right now we were working on the grid uh, guide but then now let's switch our perspective guide option. And we are going to place this one vanishing point towards our section so just uh, select a midpoint of your section and place this vanishing point here because that's going to be a focal point so since this is a sectional view so it's going to be a perspective view so you can select a new layer for this guide so first we are going to extend lines to this vanishing point so now you know what I mean to say now you can see that the sketch is slowly turning into a three dimensional kind of a thing and again in a new layer with the drawing guide option on slowly start to extend your main outline on your guidelines look at that guys isn't it beautiful Try to include stairs uh, in whatever design that you're creating so it would be a bit challenging for you. So I've decided to end at a certain point right here and I'm just following the levels. Baby, you me 
and I'm going to erase these extra lines and also we shouldn't forget about this uh, diagonal line that I had drawn in the plan I wanted to do this so, so as to demonstrate how we can also implement a lot of elements in this uh, sectional view but still find a way to you know cut through uh, this view as well so we just have to like think logically how it might work if we have this sol solid and void kind of a scenario going on so this is basically it it's very easy and you just need to erase the rest of it and here you can see that it's taken its shape i think our outline is almost ready and that is it you guys the outline is ready and hereafter it's all fun and games you just have to apply your materials now so i have demonstrated this in a lot of my videos so you duplicate the one of the material because you might reuse the same material in other portions so switch on the layer of your material that you want to apply and you can use the distort option right here to increase or decrease the size of your material like this select the portion that you want click on inverse and you can erase the portion that you don't want so basically you are going to repeat the same steps again and again for all the other portions so I had shown the same demonstration for a 3d sketch as well so we can do the same thing for the plan or this uh, sectional view for basically everything it's going to be the same technique again I'm fast forwarding but if you want to follow whatever I'm doing at the same time then you can just go to your settings and adjust the playback speed So as you can see I have duplicated the imported materials because I know I will be using them again for uh, the sectional view as well. So before using the material duplicate it once and then uh, use it. Like this part is very easy you guys until and unless you like set up the scale and come up with the conclusion of a sketch outline only, only that part would be tricky but then the rest is all up to your creativity and also make sure to select good uh, type of textures in Pinterest. Uh, I strongly recommend you to use Pinterest because you get the most aesthetical kind of images from that app or from that website. Uh, when you compare it with Google, I think Pinterest has better collection of images. So here you can see I have also downloaded this ground texture. 
you would have seen in a lot of photoshopped images of uh, sections wherein they would have shown this beautiful ground texture so i found uh, these very beautiful so you can also try to see something similar or you can see something that interests you the most and try to use uh, this method to uh, basically apply the materials to your outline When you can sketch it and when you can apply materials like this then why would you even require a 3D software am I right? And I think nowadays clients are even more uh, persistent about having handmade uh, sketches or uh, something creative. Uh, a creative kind of a representation for the projects rather than um, are modern or technological stuff so you can get very creative especially for landscape designers for interior designers or for especially for students i would strongly re recommend you to use uh, this app uh, or this methodology because i think most of us do the same thing even on photoshop but i feel procreate you can freely move your hand it becomes very flexible for you you become very creative because you can literally move your hand however you want however organically you want to and you can create anything uh, that you have in your mind so here you can see using the distort option i have laid down the material according to uh, the perspective so I have just adjusted the edges to the edges of the outline so I've just adjusted the edges of the materials to the edges of the outline using the distort option hence the perspective view becomes as realistic as possible see so you just have to click on the edges of the material and just place it on the edges of the outline and there you go you have beautifully placed your material on a perspective sketch so I'm going to repeat the same thing basically on all the portions
so now we have done with the material application and now we have to add the detail elements so here i have downloaded uh, the vector images of trees in plan as i had shown it in the beginning so i am basically using this freehand selection tool and i'm selecting one of these uh, tree and just also omitting the interior white spaces like that and I'm just copying it and moving it aside so I'm basically doing it for two or three uh, trees so you just need to select and under the select option itself you will have this copy and paste option so just select on that so uh, and using the move tool you can just move it aside and just switch off this layer so you're not actually like cutting or erasing the rest of it and here I'm basically like moving and duplicating it so moving it placing it like that and see you can still see the white patches so what I'm doing is I'm just converting into a darker or into a multiply effect so that those white lines uh, are disappeared so yeah you can see the difference now and after doing that I'm just copy pasting the same elements here and there so you're just duplicating the layers again and again you can also move the layers up and down so if you want one of the trees to be taller and the other to be shorter so you have to show that one tree is beneath the other so you just have to move your levels up and down accordingly so yeah i am actually copying and pasting the trees again and again here and there you can also like uh, group all of these into one uh, I didn't do that because I was I was so much like into the design and I was busy doing it and I had forgotten to group it but you can just select the layer and just group it into one group selecting another one here copy it move it aside duplicate the same and place it again you can convert it into darker or multiply or whatever yeah so i was just experimenting the different kind of effects you can see which suits your drawing the best So the central band is also ready. And here you can see I have downloaded the vector image of people in plan. So again using the freehand tool, I'm just selecting and copy. So that gets selected separately. You can switch off the main layer and now you can play with this copied layer I'm just using the technical pen and I'm just outlining this selected portion because it wasn't that visible so also after I outline it looks even more legit and it looks good the effect so yeah again copy move it place it and outline it You don't have to stress a lot about uh, sketching over these vector images be as sketchy as possible only then it can give a different look to your presentation
and now since we have done the tree in plan now it's time for us to detail out the sectional view as well so i'm selecting the trees that i want to show so here i've selected this bunch of trees i'm placing it on the section i'm selecting some more portions so for this i'm going to slightly tilt it so i'm going to use this distort option and move it according to the line of the perspective so that it looks like it is stuck to the edge so that is how you make a vector image a 2d vector image uh, seem like it's on 3d by just simply using this distort option and arranging it parallel to that of uh, the lines of the sketch so you can reduce the opacity of the trees behind and increase the opacity of the trees in front so that you can also like exactly show uh, the distance of these objects so it the perspective looks even more legit so look at this i'm using the distort option and slightly adjusting these trees to make it look like as if it's standing on 3d and i'm trying to use different types of trees in different type of areas so for plan it wouldn't seem uh, that much even if you use the same kind of trees but then in the sectional view only if you show like different kinds of trees shrubs then it will look even more presentable i feel so i'm using this shrub right here just use the method of select copy and move and duplicate it multiple times and place it wherever you want to so again it all depends on your creativity you can select n number of vector images of your choice and you can place it however you want to it need not even the humans need not be only like black and white images you get a lot of like colorful flat images too many are available on pinterest so you can make use of them as well i think next time i should try making like a, an architectural exterior view or something like that so here is my favorite part you guys i don't know there's something about showing a birds flying over it creates a different feel to the whole drawing isn't it so again there is this white patch around this so we can remove it i'm using this automatic selection tool invert and just erase the rest so you can get only the birds and now i am placing the humans as well and i'm going to repeat the same drill i'm going to place them and outline them using the technical pen i fast forwarded it but yeah basically you need to repeat the same uh, step even for the elevation you can again use some distort option to make the 2d look like 3d in this elevational view So see here like I'm just using the technical pen and I'm just outlining uh, these vector images. So now you can see that they look even more visible. So after doing the outline I'm going to move this human layer to the uh, top most layer so that you wouldn't see all these lines intersecting. Now let's add our beloved shadows you guys so you just use a technical sorry you can use the flat brush pen and using a black color you can also reduce the opacity of the brush and beneath each and every step and here you can see uh, beneath this landmass and on to the water body i'm giving this strong shadow so we are right now adding some depth to our plan 
द ब्यूटी ऑफ शेडोज इज सो अनटचेबल यू गाइस इट जस्ट चेंजेस द पर्स्पेक्टिव ऑफ आर होल्ड स्केच सो ह्योर एज यू कैन सी आई एम गिविंग शेडोज इवन टू आर ट्रीज शेडोज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डोंट फॉर गेट द शेडोज Like look at that. Like even our trees look very embossed. It looks like our trees are set at a certain height. So I'm doing the same thing even for this sectional view. So for the humans under the stairs. at the central band over the water body and here i just realized i hadn't filled this central landscape portion so i'm just copying duplicating the shrubs and filling that and now it is time to add the final touch ups so just use a thicker uh, version of the technical pen just increase the thickness and just highlight the sectional line so we are cutting through the section so it's important to show the cut line in a very uh, thick line you can also add some clouds you can use that cotton brush from the element session now it's time to do the sheeting so export it into a png format so now in a new canvas again it has to be a a3 canvas because we drew the previous one to scale so make sure to just uh, adjust the position but don't increase or decrease the size of the sketch be because we had drawn it to scale so we can just set the drawing guide again to 1 cm just for the reference we are not going to draw anything here except for the scale scale is very important 1 grid 4 grid 5 grid so just move it aside so that means this becomes 0 Zero to one, one meter. Zero to five meter. Zero to ten meter. So even when you print out, it is very easy for someone to like compare the scale with that of your drawing very easily. So I'm just moving it slightly up, like that, and just select. Use the circular selection or elliptical selection tool. Copy it. Move. and adjust the size accordingly just move this portion above don't make it small because it is to scale you don't want to touch that these details you can vary in sizes because it's just the details that you're just popping out but the main plan and sectional view don't change the scale here i'm also adding text details just reducing the opacity So yeah that is it for today's video you guys what do you think about this was it helpful to you will you be able to make or create a design of your own so make sure to comment down below what you think about this video and for people who haven't subscribed yet please to subscribe you guys and thank you very much for all your support we have reached more than 700 subscribers and i'm so thankful to you guys so again i keep repeating in my every videos but then this is the truth it's because of you guys that 
it's because of your support that i'm motivated to do more and to give you the best in each of my videos so yeah take care all of you i'll see you in my next video until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress